So what could Hurricane Katrina did was it induced some individuals to move who otherwise would have just gone back home. And so I can compare those individuals to their counterparts who were released from prison prior to Hurricane Katrina. And so it's just basically a, a group comparison and then I looked at their recidivism outcomes and what happened was that those individuals who moved away from where they used to live uh, were, were much less likely to go back to prison within three years. The, the message is that, that moving back to an old neighborhood is, is not necessarily a good thing, oftentimes a bad thing, and that uh, individuals can benefit from a, from a fresh start. And so, you know, the, the question is, well, how do we promote that in a real-world policy environment, uh, you know, outside of a hurricane? Um, you know, and I think there's, there's lots of different reasons why people, um, when they come out of prison, they move back to their, um, their old neighborhoods. Um, familiarity, attachment to place, um, social networks, things like that. But there's also some institutional reasons why people go home. Um, one is parole policies. Um, in many states, um, parole is set up to where uh, individuals are, um, as a condition of their of parole or mandatory supervision, are required to go back to the county where they resided when they were either convicted or uh, committed their crime. Um, Louisiana is actually an exception and a few other states are, are exceptions to that. But you know, my point is that parole is set up to, to send um, to send people back home, um, and that's not necessarily a good thing. Um, another reason why people go back to, to home neighborhoods is a lack of housing options. Um, you know, we're talking about individuals that um, you know typically are, are low income. Um, you know, don't have a lot of places they can live, especially right when they get out of prison. Um, not a lot of access to um, to public housing, um, and so you know when people are faced with um, you know very few options. Well, natural question is well, where do they go when they um, they go to familiar settings where um, you know they have a mother or girlfriend uh, uh, boyfriend whatever that um, uh, uh, they can provide housing for them and that's typically back in their home neighborhood mm -hmm. and so the implication is well what as a society can we do to um, to uh, promote residential change and one uh, uh, one option may be to um, have more flexibility in parole residency restrictions and another uh, another option may be to uh, provide more housing opportunities for ex-offenders.